Hi guys. Um, due to my new flip client, it's just been so nice. Um, I cancelled my bag class today and uh, special love to Janet because I think she might do this at some point. Um, I injured my back last week, just doing something very innocuous anyway. I managed to get rid of most of the pain through deep tissue massage and stretching. But just thought we will do a 15 minute of um, just a lovely 15 minute stretch of glutes, hammies, lower back, quads. Um, yeah, sometimes if we apply strength work, then the result is your muscles can get a little bit tight. So this is for that 15 minutes of bliss. It might not feel bliss if you're a bit in pain, but anyway, let's try. So I've just got a spiky ball here. Spiky balls are actually lovely to for standing, uh, work underneath the foot. So if you haven't got one, I'll just show you this briefly and then hopefully you'll go out and buy one. So just soften through the knees, chin to chest, take the hips backwards and gently just down. So last week I was struggling with her all down. It was too much, but I've worked hard and stretching and it feels a lot better, but my knees are still bent. I don't want to put too much pressure into the hamstrings. Take a breath in. And out, breath in, and gently up. You may not have got as far as me if the back is feeling quite acute. You might have only got to knees, that's fine. And then just take a ball. You can use a tennis ball or a golf ball, it's pretty good because they're a bit harder. And ideally, good for sciatic pain as well, you want to massage a minute really all over. Sometimes it's nice to go into the heel as well, which can get a little bit painful. And then just into that middle part of the foot and the ball of the foot. And then just round. I just want you just to do one foot at a time. So mine's all down my right side. My right side, since I brought my ankle, yeah, just struggles a bit. It's my stronger side, but I think I'm probably just walking a bit weird with my gait. So in some ways it's quite nice when you injure yourself, it makes you look after yourself a bit more. So then just take that foot down and then chin to chest, hips back again, a little bit of softness in the knees and just come down. It's like a miracle. Take a breath in and gently back up. I used to roll all the time pre-lockdown. That right hamstring felt so much easier. Hang on, I'm just gonna put my phone charger in just in case I don't want it to thingy out my floor. Okay, so I'm gonna do my left one, which funnily enough, does now feel tighter than my right one. But again, a good minute. So I am going to force myself to try and get into a routine this next three weeks. Cold showers, which I did this morning, and more rolling and more stretching. Obviously strength, super important, but yeah, not at the sacrifice of getting tight. So again, just a little, if Janet's watching this, she's probably thinking, why don't you just have a cup of coffee, Joe, and just relax instead of doing this. But this is much more beneficial. So yeah, I'm a firm believer if you're injured, yeah, sometimes rest can help, I'm not saying it can. I've rested a bit more from my strength work this last three days, four days, but I do really believe that movement is the key. So cat to calf, shell stretch, uh, hip circles, things like that. Any movement, better than no movement at all. And then just round, and then again, just take a little softness in the knee, chin to chest, hips back, gently down. Remember the first time my Pilates teacher showed me the spiky ball, I couldn't believe it. So good, releases the pressure in the hamstrings. Take a breath in and then just gently start rolling up, but only till you get your hands to your knees. And then I'll just turn around, go into that pose. Take a breath in and then round. So last week this was, I was doing this in class and oh gosh, didn't realise how tight I was. 
Sometimes you can almost feel when you do a supine spine that the back cracks a little bit. And in my SI join, I definitely have got some inflammation and it almost feels like it's popping out. <laughs> it's not, but... And gently back. I guess getting to the ripe old age of 21, I've been really lucky that I've not injured my back. Okay, and then just take it into one of my favourite ones. So just take one foot in front of the other. Take that same hand up, you'll know this one. And just gently, so last week again, obviously I didn't want to go too far to the right because that's where it feels like it needs a good stretch. But it feels a lot better today, so I'm going to push it out a bit. And just notice again, try and straighten that arm. How beautiful it is to stretch that lateral side of the body. Take a breath in. And out. So I think last week I did quite a lot more glute work than I normally do. I've got a few more bar classes running. And I just didn't take the self-care for stretching. You can go forward a little bit just to round that back. And really be in touch with your body, how tight everything may feel. And then just take your hands on your bum and just do ever so slight back stretch. And back to neutral, chin to chest, take the hips back and gently down. Did everyone watch the Wimbledon final? Oh my god, the girl was brilliant and Carlos Alcaraz, oh, what a star. Big deep breaths. Big deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. And gently up. Well done, let's go to that other side. And again, up, take the hand, push out. So this side feels better than the other side because I really stretched it last week. Take a breath in. Again, a bit of softness in the knee, hips back, gently down. Right in the head, just hang. Again, breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in, and gently up. And then just get yourself a chair or a roller. If you're one of my students, you'll have a roller. Um, just to give yourself a bit of stability. So we're not stretching at the minute. All we're going to do is just mobilise the hips. So I just want you to keep your core relatively tight. And I just want you to take it up and down. Up. And three, two. One, and then side to side. It's even sometimes you can hear a little bit of cracking. Three, two, one, well done. And then circle, four, three, two, one. Circle back, four, three, two, one, well done. And then take it into a quadricep stretch. So bring the knees together and just think about tucking this, tucking under, tucking under. So again, hopefully yours didn't fall over. If you need some stability, just hold on. It's not a balance this, it's all about stretch. Good. And then that leg that you've got up, just take it to the back into a calf stretch. Again, just push down. You don't need to devote hours and hours to stretching. Yeah, but sometimes when I'm doing a class like bar or hit, the new bar class that I do, they're lovely, but um, 
it's a kind of back to back class. They could only do a half six. I've got a class at quarter past seven, so I just don't think I stretched enough. And just hold. Straighten that front leg again, go super gentle, chin to chest, hips back, and just gently float down. So everything's still a bit tighter for me than it normally is, so I'm just going to rest my hands on my shin. I don't want to lie over. Luckily, I didn't have any sciatic type pain, it was just lower back. Hold, soften the knee, and gently come up. Good. Pinky roller back up. Let's go and step on the other side. So again, just pendulum side to side. Have a little listen. Always a bit of clicking for me on this one. And funnily enough, on the other side it was clicking on a this movement, but on this side it's clicking on that movement. And then circle. And circle back. Lots of circling when you're in any kind of discomfort. Really good for the nervous system. And then just pull it in. Try and get the knees together and tuck the tailbone a little bit. Take a breath in. Beautiful. And then take that back heel down. She says that she nearly fell. So just drive the heel in to the floor and hold that stretch. Beautiful. Straighten that front leg, chin to chest, hips back, and again, just gently down. Yeah, the whole posterior part of my body at the minute just feels tighter than normal. I can't even believe what I'm running. So hold, yeah. Got a lot of hip extension work, all the work of glutes and the hammies. Soften the front knee and then gently, gently release back. Good. And then just some little circles, little circles. I always do this stuff. And then circle back. La, 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 la. And brilliant. Okay, so we're going to come straight down. Um, actually, what we will do is just do two um, hello, two planks into a uh, downward dog, into a quad dog. So a little bit of whip in the foot, chin to chest, take the hips back. Again, if you feel last week I had to really, or kind of Friday, Thursday, Friday, I had to keep my knees really bent, but at the minute it feels so much better. But we're still going to stay there and have a little forward back. Just stretching. Sometimes, you know when you work really hard through kind of strength work, you can feel a little bit, what's the word, heavy? Where the muscles just feel, oh. And then if you rest for a day or two, I'm not very good at resting. If you rest for a day or two and stretch, everything feels so much lighter. And then soften the knees and walk it out. So again, into that lovely plank position, drawing the tummy in. And we're just going to take the knees down, flatten the feet, elbows back, and just bring the chest and the chin to the ground, reach up. Take that beautiful breath in. And tuck the toes, come back into your plank, into that deep downward dog, but walk the hands back a little bit. Oops, slipping. And then just drive the heels to the floor, taking a few little bounces. Soften the knees completely, walk the hands back, and then just gently up. Beautiful, let's go again. A little bit of whip, chin to chest, hips back, weight forward. And then rocking forwards and back, forwards and back.
walk it out. Get a nice plank position, drawing the tummy in. Take the knees down, feet flat, bring the elbows back, chin to chest. Lift up, breath in. Stretching the front of the body now. Tuck the toes again into that deep downward dog. Take the right heel down on the left and the right and the left. And both together, little bounce, not too much pressure in that stretch. Good. Walk it back, knees down, close position shell stretch. Try and sit your heels on your, I always say it the wrong way around, but bum on the heels. And then just rest, really rest. Taking some lovely deep breaths in. Oh, I can't tell you how much better this feels, guys. I really, really sympathise now with people who've got lower back issues. I never had it at all. And yeah, it's, it takes your breath away, doesn't it? But the key is to keep moving. And maybe a little bit of, obviously, anti-inflammatory. Tuck the toes, come into your cow. And your cat. And your cat. And your cat. Two more. Last one. Good. And then look over one shoulder as you take the hips in the opposite direction. And the other shoulder. And again. And again. And then round. Do you know a gentleman I wanted to have a massage this week who gets a lot, of, does a lot of training. And you were asking me, he gets a lot of injuries, particularly through his lower back. And he's saying, you just do a stretch session? Maybe I need to think about just doing that. <laughs> it feels so good, doesn't it? And um, well done. And then just come over. And all we're going to do is grab hold of, if you've got a yoga, um, a yoga block or a softball or one of these lovely, lovely yoga cushions, you can just place it underneath your head just to give you a little bit more movement. So, in the neck, so you're not looking at the back of the room. And just grab hold of that resistance band. And just come down onto the mat. And I want you to start in neutral spine. So your shoulders are down on the mat and the length through the collarbones. Chin to chest. Try and keep in neutral. And just gently, gently bring yourself up to the point where you can feel the hamstring very mildly stretching out but you're not forcing the lower back into imprint so you're keeping it neutral and just do that flexion of the foot get some deep breaths in as the calf stretches out Just gently take the foot in and out, in, out, in, out, in, out, round in circle. Circle the other way, a bit harder to do when you've got the band. And then take the band and again keep the hip bones anchored down, we're not lifting the foot. So it's not about taking the leg down to the floor, it's about trying to keep the hips level and just taking it into that gentle inner thigh stretch. Good. 
back to centre, anchor the foot in, and again just over just a little bit, hold, yeah, so a little bit more kind of through the whole of the back leg, by taking the foot in it can go down in towards that ankle area, and then gently back to centre again. And then again over if you want to bring it all the way down and you can do or just go to where you feel comfortable. Go to about there for me. I don't want to force it too much down. And still feel that stretch. This morning it felt alright. I've just massaged for an hour so I can just feel a bit more. I'm just gonna have to devote a bit more attention to uh, back stretches, I think. I refuse to suffer with low back. And then soft, and then gently back, and we're just going to move the other foot in, and so, so again, halfway, so you just want to kind of be coming up to about there. Here you can release it a little bit, just keep moving it a bit more, but try not to go into imprint. Flex the foot, stretch that calf out. Just take the ball in and out. So sometimes people have really tight hip flex, sometimes hammies. I think I might go to stretch the hip flexors in the yoga class last week as well and shortened again the posterior part of my body, which is always tight because I work it quite hard, the glute, the extension, and the other way. As John Mackinlow said yesterday, the glutes are in one fell. Of the after the jaw, which I didn't realise. I always said the glute max was the biggest muscle, but I can't remember the jaw is. Hmm. The mastoid. And then just hold and then take it back into that inner thigh. I'll tell you what, though, after lots of stretching through my back over the last few days, I did roll up this morning and it felt wonderful. So a lot of the roll-up issues people have is that stiffness of the spine. And then back in, and again, just go easy. So I can really feel it here. Yeah, just hold. Gently back to centre. If it feels a bit nervy, take it away from the inversion. Just bring it a little bit further in. Back to neutral, and then you can come all the way. Try and keep this shoulder down. Soften the knee. I'm aware that it's definitely more than 15 minutes this, but it just feels very good. And then just into that, just that butterfly, and just notice, yeah, my knees are a little bit up today, and I just feel a bit tight, so I just feel like I need some more work going on through the glute stretch. So we're going to do both figure four and pigeon and piriformis. So take one leg into tabletop. We'll do the old piriformis one, you push across midline, so use the same hand, push on the outside of the knee, and just bring that foot in towards the top of the thigh, but keep pushing in. So if you've got a ruler, hopefully it's like a diagonal between the inner knee and the opposite shoulder. And from there, take the hand away from the outer knee, back into the mat, at the foot block, and then the one that's near the kind of lower calf, take it, and then just bring it, feels easier. Relax through the belly. And then 
and just gently back and just bring the knee into chest. I sometimes feel like my hip flexors uh, cramp a bit in that, so it's nice to just do a bigger fog loop. Because <laughs> they're always itching my lower back. Yeah. Okay, the other side. So again, piriformis first. So use the same hand, push across the midline, use that opposite hand, pull the heel into the upper thigh. Pushing my outer knee. And away, and then just bring it over. Big belly breath on an inhale. And you go back to centre, and then just. Push that in the way. Well done. And then again, just pull in, lengthen the other leg. What a treat, guys, stretching it. Although, they, in fact, it might have been you, Gemma, actually, huh? Um, talking to you like there, Gemma, you know, on the hour on Monday, but this is a video on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think you said last week, sometimes you find, like, the stretchy bits. I think it were you, but a lot of people say that. We don't realise how tight. So I'm a complete advocate for strength work. I think our muscles need to be strong to support the joints, but... Like I say, I was victim to my uh, ill advice last week and didn't stretch out enough after. This just feels really nice, just opening up through the hips. Yeah, so you're just getting this nice little opening there. And relax, well done. And this is when you can quite happily just finish your practice, guys, if you don't like pitching. Otherwise, we're going to come into that plank position just to raise one leg, bring it in, tuck the foot under and come into that pigeon stretch. Some people don't feel this, some people feel it not. Gently keep your legs where they are, just gently come up into that quadriceps stretch where you pull the heel of the opposite hand in towards the bum. Can be quite major this. And like I said, I want to dedicate this video to Janet who, yeah told me not to do that today and she's going to do a video but um thank you darling and then the other side so again you can just slide it through if you've got the mobility take it out gently rest nearly there and then just come back into your cow pose cat hopefully this should feel so much better back into cow tuck up nice and high again just walk the right heel and the left and the right and the left and then both together and have a little roll around And then the other way. And 
and soften the knees, walk your hands back and softly up. Oh, and I feel like a new woman. Thanks guys, take care, bye.